hello. Uh, I'm Dr. Carolyn Newberry, and I am an assistant professor of medicine here at Weill Cornell Medical Center in our division of gastroenterology. And I also serve as our director of our GI nutrition program. You know, we're really learning more about how nutrition and weight uh, intersect with poor gut diseases. And you know, for example, one of the most common diagnoses that we're seeing in GERD, um, as it's called, gastroesophageal reflux disease, is a disease where you have extra acid that is bothering your esophagus. And we know that there's a relationship both with the foods that you're eating and how much GERD you develop. Excess weight can also make GERD worse. And it makes a lot of sense that if we know there's this relationship with the disease state, both its severity of symptoms and complications of it with food choices and excess weight, that we should address those as part of a comprehensive treatment plan. I work closely with the poor gut specialists um, in terms of how both that nutritional stratification, the dietary modification, sometimes weight loss, or in some cases if patients have had significant weight loss and actually are looking for weight gain, you know, we can work together to come up with a treatment plan. In addition to getting the endoscopy done, getting other testing done to understand what's going on in the esophagus, um, we also talk about like a dietary and lifestyle modification plan. With our comprehensive weight management program, we can provide dietitian services. We can talk about exercise plans and goal setting. We actually prescribe anti-obesity medication. And then we also work very closely with our bariatric surgery and bariatric endoscopy program so that if procedures are indicated and appropriate, you know, patients can proceed with those. I feel incredibly privileged to work with a group of, of surgeons and esophageal specialists and motility specialists and nutrition specialists. And, you know, we can work together towards a common goal and that is to, to reduce the symptom burden of the disease process and also reduce the symptom and disease complications that may occur. But yes, there's a disease process taking place, but there's also a person behind that disease process. And so that's what I really enjoy the most about my day-to-day -day life is getting to know our patients, getting to know what it is that, that's driving them, the things that are bothering them their most in terms of their disease, how does it affect their daily life, and then we can try to make changes and optimizations so that they feel better.